Syncopation. Before I explain what syncopation is, let's sing a couple of the beginnings of a few songs and so you can see what syncopation is not. So these are not syncopated songs. Let's do Yankee Doodle. Here's the beat. Well, let's just conduct the beat. You can feel the beat as we do this. Yankee Doodle went to town a riding on a pony. Stuck a feather in his hat and called it macaroni. So our rhythm and um, our in, in our melody is right on the beat. Here's another example. Frere Jacques, Frere Jacques, dormez-vous, dormez-vous. Sonne le matina, sonne le matina, ding ding dong, ding ding dong. All of the melody fell right strongly on the beat. The beats were accented. Now we're going to look at a song that has syncopation, and you'll, you're going to feel the difference. So first of all, let's say this rhythm, okay? Shoe fly, please don't bother me. Shoe fly, please don't bother me. Shoe fly, please don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. Here's how it goes. Shoe fly, please don't bother me. Shoe fly, please don't bother me. Shoe fly, please don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. Now you're probably saying that's not how the song goes. We don't have the word please in shoe fly. So this time we're going to whisper please when we get to it. Okay? And you get shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. So this time we're not even going to say please at all. We're not even going to whisper it. So I'm going to tie these two eighth notes together. And we're just going to erase, please. All right? You can still think it in your mind. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. For I belong to somebody. So when I, another way to write this is to have an eighth note and then a quarter note because two eighth notes together makes a quarter note. So these two eighth notes make one quarter note, so I write the quarter note here, and here's the last eighth note. So this would be another way to write, shoe fly, don't bother me, but I better write it up here because that's a different song down below. So I'll write, shoe fly, shoe fly, don't, there we go. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. So in, when things are syncopated, we have an accent somewhere other than on the downbeat. So if you tap your leg with the beat, you'll see that fly and don't are on the upbeat. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother. Let's go a little slower. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly, don't bother me. Shoe fly. Don't bother me. All right, now let's look at another song that has syncopation in it. This song is um, it's called um, The Canoe Round, and it goes like this. My paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver. Actually, it's the same rhythm. That's right, we're going to repeat this top rhythm several times. Let's say the rhythm. The rhythm's going to be this. Ta di di ta di ta, ta di di ta di ta, ta di di ta di ta, ta di di ta. You try it with me. Here's how the um ta di di ta di ta, ta di di ta di ta, ta di di ta di ta, ta di di ta. Here's how the words go. My paddle's keen and bright, flashing with silver. Follow the wild goose flight, dip, dip, and swing. One of my rhythms actually had a quarter note there. Mainly I'm looking at this syncopated rhythm. And the last song is um, Tom Dooley. Also has the same syncopation at the beginning of it. Songs can have syncopation anywhere, but these happen to have it at the beginning, which makes it easy for us to look at. So Tom Dooley goes like this. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Hang down your head and cry. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Poor boy, you're bound to 
die. The last time it's four counts all the way across there. So that's what syncopation is. When you have the um, rhythm in your, that's in your melody is being accented somewhere except on the downbeat, on an upbeat. The upbeats are accented. That's syncopation. More to come. That's all for today.